Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing my last makeup look inspired by Zodiac Signs. This one is for all my Geminis out there. This one is going to be my last makeup tutorial and if you are watching this and you think, well, where are all the other tutorials? They're all on my channel and I've done basically every single Zodiac Sign and I'm also going to be doing another video just recapping you guys on what I have done. So if you guys think, oh, I really like that certain video, then go watch that and I'll link them all down below and try and make a playlist for you guys so you guys can check them out yourself. So let's get started so for gemini the traits are excessive lively adaptable humorous sociable clever flexible brainy and charming that's a lot of traits actually that's probably the most traits there are in a sign to be fair but they can also be scattered moody shallow selfish fragile inconsistent and changeable if you are a gemini you will be born between may the 21st and june 20th and the colours for Gemini are green, yellow and orange but I'm going to be halving my face and I'm going to be doing a glam look and a nude look so you guys can have like the two sides because Gemini's the sign is uh, two sides which basically means that they have two sides to their personalities. They are very very adaptable so they can adapt to certain situations and certain people. I've done my base of my face as usual. I'm now going to be doing I think an intense eye look on this side and a non-intense eye look on this side. So I'm going to get my Lorac palette and I think we'll just go full on with the Lorac palette because this is just so much easier. I'm going to be concentrating a lot on the browns today. Should we do pink, pinks and like light colours and then browns and blacks on this side. Light colours this side, dark colours this side. I'm going to go straight in with something really really easy. I'm going to start off with my highlighter as my base because that's just so much easier I've discovered. So I'm just going to be getting my base shadow brush and putting some highlighter on my eyelid which is a really weird thing to do I know but it's instead of using white eyeshadow. Um, but I am going to put a little bit of white eyeshadow on here as well. Okay so I've done white as my base I'm now going to be adding some dark colours. So what I'm going to go in with, in with a light brown first off which is kind of like a skin nudie colour and I'm going to be, actually I'm going to do dark on this side. I'm then going to go in with a dark brown. I'm now going to be going in with a shimmery grey, adding that on top. And then I'm going to be going in with a black. Actually let's go in with this dark, darkish grey blue shade and see what that looks like. I'm then going to get my detail brush and go in with some of that dark grey underneath my eye. Okay, so this is the dark side sorted. I'm now going to do the light side and I'm going to be adding some, I'm going to go with that dark black, um, nudie brown again. And then going to add a bit of gold, like a shimmery gold. I'm going to go in my detailer brush and just add a bit of that brown underneath my eye. I'm going to get my slanted brush and a bright purple and I'm going to add that to my crease. Then I'm going to add a little bit of black to darken that up more. I'm going to contour my face. So I'm going to contour more on this side than I am on this side. I want to make sure that this side is more accentuated. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of highlighter. And then I'm going to do my lashes. So I'm going to add some eyeliner to both of my eyes, some and some eyelashes. I think I might add only one eyelash to this one so you can see the difference. And then I'm going to add mascara. I've only added eyeliner to one side of my eye. Then I'm going to add some mascara to both of my eyes. I'm then going to apply one of my Ardell Demi, Demi Wish Bees, Wish Bees, Wish Bees to this eye, so it is more glam. <laughs> Don't know why I did that face. <laughs> I'm going to be using my Revlon lash glue to apply these lashes. Eyelash is done. Okay, now we are going to bring in the lipstick. So for this side, I'm going to be using my Revlon 03. Kate Moss lipstick and for this side I'm going to be using my collection Blackberry Fall which is a really gorgeous dark purple. So I'm first going to be lining my lips with a purple liner. I'm 
So with the lips I basically just blended some nude and some purple together to create that sort of like blended effect. I'm going to be adding some silver stars to my bit where the highlighter would be. Then going to add some gems in the corners of my eye. Then going to get some face paint and draw a line straight through my face. Okay, so before I do the line properly, I'm going to add the star sign on top of my head because I don't know if it's where it's going to sit if it's normal because it's normally in the middle of my head. So if you enjoyed this makeup tutorial, please do give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see any of my other Zodiac inspired makeup tutorials, I will leave a playlist down below so you guys can check it out. And at the end of this video, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.